Hello, Lake Grove family. Pastor Greg here with this Wednesday's video devo from our 365 storybook. It's called Shipwreck, and it's story number 357 on pages 403 to 404, or you can read the second half of Acts chapter 27 in the Bible. I'm focusing on the storm and the shipwreck part of the story. God's special missionary, Paul, has appealed for a hearing with the emperor. And as a Roman citizen, uh, this is his right, and he's being transported to Rome by boat. It's a difficult time of year weather-wise, but the uh, centurion in charge decides to press on despite Paul's warnings that they're not going to make it through without loss of cargo and or life. And sure enough, they are slammed by a terrible storm that makes it almost impossible for them to keep the ship afloat. The sailors work hard just to survive, and they end up having to throw a lot of the cargo overboard to lighten their load. And this goes on for days, even weeks. And the sailors get seasick, seasick, and they fear for their lives. It's a big vessel. There are 276 people on that boat. But in the midst of that storm, God blesses Paul with a message of safety. Though the ship will wreck upon the rocks of some island that is not their intended destination, no life will be lost. And uh, Paul encourages the crew with his faith and his confidence in God's providence. Later, the Bible says um, that Paul urged them to take some food. They'd been working so hard that they'd not had time to eat. He said, take some food. It'll help you survive, for none of you will lose a hair from, from your heads. And now listen how it goes on. Listen to this language. After he said this, he took bread and gave thanks to God in the presence of all. He broke it and began to eat. Sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? Then all of them were encouraged and took food for themselves. So in the midst of the storm, Paul is encouraging them to stop and do some self-care. Now, it's the day before Christmas Eve, and I read the story in that light. It's not a perfect analogy, but I think it's fair to say that we also have been experiencing a kind of storm, multiple storms, really. And in the midst of our storms, I think it's okay to remember Paul's example, speaking to his shipmates while they were being tossed around on the Mediterranean Sea. He basically said, it's going to be okay. God is in charge here and it's gonna be okay. So please stop and nourish yourselves. Rest a little. It's going to be okay. And so as we enter the days of Christmas, and as we worship together tomorrow and celebrate the coming of God to be with us, I encourage us to trust that God really is with us, and it's going to be okay. So take the time to stop and eat. Nourish your bodies and your souls. Love one another. Rest. These are good and necessary things. The year 2020 was a shipwreck year, perhaps, and maybe we crashed on the rocks in some ways, but we are alive. God is with us. 2021 should be better, and we're gonna be okay. The Lord is coming. Happy Christmas.